everybody, Jim Suler here, rhythm guitar player, wingman for George Thorogood and the Destroyers. I play some lead guitar too, <laughs> uh, jack of all trades. I'm going to go over some open G slide tuning. That's a tuning George leans on heavily when he plays songs like Bad the Bone, Gear Jammer, Moving On Over, uh, Howling for My Baby, uh, Rocking My Life Away, among others. But this is a uh, it's an open tuning. It goes way back. It was originally called a parlor tuning uh, back in the late 1800s, and it's evolved uh, through a Hawaiian style lap steel guitar and in the country and later blues. And that's where George and I picked it up. I picked it up from George. And he uh, picked it up along the way. But as opposed to a standard tuning, from low to high, this open G tuning is D, G, D. G, B, and D. Makes for a nice, pretty open chord. And uh, George uses finger picks, but I flat pick, so this is one of his slides. And uh, he and I both wear it on our pinky. A lot of people will wear it on their ring finger and some on their middle finger. I like it on the pinky because I can also fret chords there with the other fingers. So. Can do a lot with this tuning. It's a just it's a big fat full sound. Fills up a lot of space. It's great in a three-piece band for that very reason. Your four chord is your C, which is right here. Five chord is your D, which is up here on the seventh fret. And then at your uh, twelfth fret, your octave. finger behind the slide and mute a lot of the extra noise and I like to damp the string down by the bridge to also get rid of a lot of uh, extra noise and racket because it can be a little noisy especially at a high volume but so there you go open G tuning it's a good place to start and rock and roll